Hey gang, it's Jeff with www.missionmusician.com and today I wanted to share my top 10 plugin list. Uh, these are the plugins that I use on a day in, day out basis and I've been using a lot of these for quite some time and this is what I use normally on every mix. And so I'm going to start with 10 and work my way down. So in for number 10, and this is a free one, so you guys can go to slatedigital.com uh, and get this for absolutely free. And believe me when I say he could charge 99 bucks for this plugin and sell it like hotcakes because this is a great plugin. It is Revival. It is a sonic enhancer, and it is gorgeous. I love what just a little bit of uh, shimmer, just a little bit of thickness will do to almost every track. It it's just it's a beautiful plugin. It's so simple to use. You just dial it up to where you hear it doing something, and then back it down just a little bit. Great plugin. So number nine is a brand new release from uh, Slate Digital, uh, as of this recording, anyway. Um, it is the FG Bomber, and Stephen describes it as something that adds depth and punch and uh, to your mix, and it definitely does that. I, I'm i just now getting familiar with this plugin. I've used it probably about on three or four mixes now, and it is awesome when you just bypass it and then bring it back in especially on a on a two bus it is really cool okay so and, and you'll notice that there's a lot of slate plugins on this list uh big fan here all right let's move on to number eight number eight is slate's trigger two um this is a drum replacer i use this <laughs> religiously um even with well mic drums, this can add thickness to snares, add punchiness to kicks. Uh, it's just a great sample plug-in. Uh, I love it. So number seven is Waves C uh, CLA76. This is a great compressor. And what I like about this compressor, even if I don't compress, it adds a little bit of something to different tracks it adds a little bit of vibe a little bit of mojo even with no compression happening and i think that's really cool this is great on vocals uh it's great on drums it's just a great all-around compressor so number six that i use quite often is ozone five and now i've had ozone five for a long time i realized as of right now ozone's on version seven I haven't had any need to upgrade at all. This version is beautiful. Um, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's kind of a mastering suite. But I don't use it just for mastering. Uh, normally I use it uh, exclusively for mastering, but I also use it on other tracks as well. Because one, I, I use it a lot on the two bus. The reverb in it, most people don't like the reverb that's in this thing. I love it. It's great. I absolutely love it to just kind of glue and mix together. Just adding a little bit of the reverb that's in here uh, on the tracks. So let's go to... What are we on here? Uh, <laughs> I forgot what number we're on. I think this is six. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I guess I got 11 on here. <laughs> so we're going to go with my 11 top plugins. How about that? So here we are at Melodyne. Uh, I've tried using um, Auto Tune. Uh, I've tried using Waves Tune. I just none of them really do it for me like uh, Melodyne. I just love the ease. Uh, that you can use this with. I mean, you can just move vocals around all over the place. This is a great plugin. It's a little pricey, but it's it really does a great job. All right, so moving on to the next one. Slate Digital again, and this is VCC channel. It's virtual 
uh, console collection. This is an awesome plugin. It just it adds. I don't know. It just adds something. Like when I put it on guitars or something, it adds. It brings the guitars forward. It's hard to. Just, it emulates obviously a console, but I don't know. There's just it just does something that's really sonic. It's it's sonically pleasing. Whatever it does, it's it's great plugin. I love this plugin. Moving on, uh, we have Slate Digital's FG Gray. Um, this is always on my two bus, always, and it's also always on my drum bus, just because it is a great compressor. All right, and. We have Fab Filters Pro Q2. And I'll be honest, for the past six, seven years, I've been using Pro Tools stock EQ because I love it. It's easy, it works great, it does what I wanted to. I just bought this probably about a year ago, and it's really opened up my eyes to EQ and the things that this can do. And I use this a lot in mastering simply because it has mid-side uh, controls in it, which is awesome because I can EQ the, the mids and then I can EQ the sides differently. So if I want to bring out some high end in the middle, it won't affect the sides. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's a really neat plug and I like this one a lot. All right, this is this fought for the number one spot uh, because I absolutely love the Big Blue Compressor by 112 dB. This thing is awesome, especially on a like a, a, a parallel compression drum track. It will just squash the crap out of the drums and make them sound huge and this I've used this compressor probably for five or six years now and it finds its way on every mix and honestly for a while I was using it on the two bus as well until I got uh, until slate came out with the uh, virtual uh, bus compressor series so if you have a chance check this compressor out it's not that expensive at all and it is a terrific compressor Finally, number one, uh, hands down, it was close with the with the other compressor, but this the uh, virtual tape machine is just solid gold. I mean, if anyone asks me what plugins I would recommend to get, first of all, I don't normally recommend to get plugins. I normally recommend you try to get better at mixing first before you get plugins for beginners. But this plugin here makes a difference. And some people say it's subtle. Some people say it's huge. It just adds a great vibe to the tracks. Uh, makes it warm. Makes it punchy. Makes it uh, just... What I'll do when I mix is I start off on my two bus and I do top-down mixing. And I talk about that uh, on my blog a little bit. But I, I start off with... Uh, what do I start off with? <laughs> I start off with uh, vir virtual... Uh, oh, there's so many virtual slate stuff. <laughs> I start off with the uh, virtual mix rack. And I'll, I'll put the console collection on. And then after that, I'll go and put uh, the FG Grey on to get a little bit of compression happening. And then I'll slap this on there. And man, when I bypass those three plugins and bring them back in the mix before I've done anything at all to the mix this is after I've set up my static mix no plugins and I add these three plugins on and they just make such a huge impact on the mix before I've even done anything so I highly recommend virtual tape machine uh, it's a saturation plugin and it just adds a vibe to your tracks that is really cool I dig it I cannot mix without this plugin. I use it every single mix I do. I use it, and it is awesome. And then I also wanted to mention an honorable mention because it's free. And uh, this is a great little plugin. 
It's a soft tubes saturation. Super simple to use and works great. Uh, I use this actually a lot on snares, on vocals, sometimes on bass. It's free. Uh, and that, that's it. That's that's my list. And be interested in hearing what you guys use. And also, I just want to make a quick mention for those who aren't aware, over at www.missionmusician.com, uh, I have a free bundle pack that I'm giving away for free, no strings attached. Um, it's a two two free ebooks. One's called uh, Intro to Recording. The other one's called Making an Album. And then I have three tutorial videos um, that are actually pretty lengthy videos. They're not just you know one little short video. There's actually quite a bit to them. Uh, one's Intro, or I'm sorry, Quick Start to Pro Tools which explains how to use Pro Tools, how to get started recording with Pro Tools. The other one is called EQ, Level the Playing Field. It's all about EQ, how to use it. And then finally, the third one is Compression, the Main Squeeze, where I teach you how to use compress compression uh, consistently and accurately and explain what it does because compression really is a mystery to those people who are just starting out in recording and mixing. And it takes a long time to kind of wrap your head around what compre what compression can actually do. Sorry, I can't speak well this evening. So anyway, that's it. Just wanted to share my top 11 plugins. And uh, I'll see you on the blog. Take care, everyone.